Yes! Welcome back, everyone! Ugh. I honestly gotta say, it's so nice being in control of the character again. <laughs> Why are you fucking in? <laughs> I thought, uh, whatever. Anyway, he's playing Dual Destinies in the background, good. apparently. <laughs> and I didn't even know that. And we're gonna find out some questions about things that happened the last time, and then, I don't know. And also, he's back on a, on a headset, because he got his new computer earlier than we expected him to, for some reason, so... Now you don't have to deal with that uh, awful Vita quality now. <laughs> It wasn't ter it wasn't terrible, but I mean, it was like, eh. anyway, whatever. The judge is speaking. God, He's this silent. Is huge. What? God, this screen is huge. Is it? Yeah, I have a giant monitor. How big is it? At least two feet. It's Twenty-four inches. All right, I think mine's like twenty-three point seven inches or something like that. I don't even know. Yeah, but I'm going. I'm coming from like a fifteen-inch monitor. It's a huge difference. Yeah, I suppose it would be. All right. After all, it's my duty to clarify my testimony as a defender of the law. Why does he look like every like his eyes are closed? <laughs> well, Edgeworth's are too. Yeah, I, but that's one of his poses. I greatly appreciate your cooperation, Your Honor. Now, the first thing I will need to do is figure out that detective's exact movements. Begin investigation, hallway. All right. At least they're specific about it. Well, it's time to figure out his movements, I guess. So let's, let's see, how'd he move? There were no signs that this fire extinguisher was used in a crime. <laughs> Excuse me. If you can already tell it from a distance, then why are you wasting your time examining it? Also, how would it be used in the crime? Hmm, uh, who knows? You never know. No. Francisco, let's not try to rush absolute genius. Alright. He's making the most ridiculous looking face. That may be, but at least he doesn't look like someone who would tell a lie on purpose. I suppose, but the two of on karma evidence is the only thing that have carries any weight. Of course. At any rate, this poster seems to be of no use to us right now. You talked to Von Karma? It's no use. Take this. Yes, what is it? Hmm, did you notice anything? This is a pretty spacious hallway, but it's nothing compared to the ones at home. Indeed, because Mr. Von Karma's house is a bit too suspicious. Spacious. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How Already are they doubting him? <laughs> of course. How are they even with this much space? There's no way for that uh, scuffed face to hide. Well, other than the crime scene just beyond these doors. Francisca, I believe it's much too early to draw any conclusions. It was already proven that Detective Dumshu was in the hallway the entire time. Now all we need to do is gather more information. And to do that, I'll just have to examine everything myself. I see here by myself. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Is it... Okay, so they are going to let us get this. Well, I probably so shouldn't he, do... His argument isn't that he wasn't here the whole time. It's not. It's that he didn't see anybody. I suppose that is true. Scruffy sent a little bonus envelope. What a useless piece of evidence. Yes, well, obvious point aside... What do you think about the low amount of money? Speaking of which, I don't think we've ever examined it. Ah, we can't. Uh, yeah, we did. See. Did we? I don't know. I the think Texas so. Gumshoe's annual bonus of $5, though so he had no money on him until he cashed this. Well, I'm pretty sure we didn't read that anyway, so I don't know. I'm saying otherwise, how would we know it was $5? Because Gumshoe told us it was $5? It's possible. Swiss roll dropped by the mysterious young girl says courthouse special on it. Sweet. Well... Let's see, ooh, it is a courthouse special. Courthouse special, uh, courthouse special as Swiss rolls. Is this being <laughs> sold somewhere on the premises? I don't recall seeing a restaurant of any sort in this courthouse. I somehow doubt you find junk food like this on a restaurant menu, Francisca. Well then where do they sell these things, huh? Probably the freaking, uh, vending machine. machine, yeah. That's my idea anyway. Um... A convenience store, I suppose. Well, I'm sure there's no convenience store in this court, has my edge. What? <laughs> Where in the world did this come from? There's literally a freaking vending machine right behind you. I have no idea where this came from. It could literally have come from literally anywhere. Literally? Where? We have no idea. We'll never know. We literally anyway. have no idea, literally. Yeah, literally, man. Yes, well, obviously, okay. <laughs> 
I think about to the uh, detective. I think it's about to shoot him. But don't you think it's a bit too low, even for an officer like him? Why his pay? I can't. It, it, I can tell he's a fool. Who, I never trust anything to. A foolish fool like him would only blotch my record with the foolishly foolish mistakes. Well, that doesn't matter. I'll never, I'll never have to work with that pathetic fool anyway. Oh, how foolish you are! <laughs> That's a foolish fool indeed. That was a bit harsh, even for you, Francisca. Hmm. Well, in that case, I was on no, that. You gotta show her the Swiss roll. I didn't show her the Swiss roll? No, you didn't show her the Swiss roll. <laughs> but I thought I did. No, you right. showed her freaking uh, gumshoes money, and that's it. I thought I showed her. Oh, whatever. I was wondering what you think of this piece of evidence. Well, if you did, then I didn't see it. Well, whatever. I don't know if I did or not anymore. You threw doubt into my mind. Alright, officer, what's up? Have you found any suspicious fingerprints, officer? Nope! Just the fingerprints of those involved with the case, sir! I guess we know all of the players in this case, then, huh? It would appear that way, but I have the nagging feeling that we were missing something. And I suspect that we're that what we're missing is hiding right here in this crime scene somewhere. But where? He's been, like, clawing at the bottom of that freaking machine for, like, three days now. Mm, two days, I'd say. Did you find something, officer? I think there's a $5 bill back there! Come on, just a little more! Is there no one working in this crime scene who isn't a total waste of living tissue? I was gonna say living space, but whatever. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a single person we can deem useful here. That's that was a bit harsh. It doesn't look like there's anything contradictory left in this area. Hmm, I suppose not. Perhaps I should check somewhere else. It literally says courthouse specials on it. I'm gonna read that one last. Because that might be worth it or something. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Alright. Hey look, it's ants. He said no ant got by him. Oh, that is ants. I thought that was a line. You're an idiot. What is this? I thought it was like damage or something. It's a pink colored piece of trash made of rubber. Well now we know where K went off to. We have to read that. Hmm. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like I've seen something like this before. Well, I mean, Edgeworth is 20, so it's possible his voice is cracking. I mean, she just popped in there, so I was like, I thought she was going to be saying something there. But all I see is a piece of garbage. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. But you know, the fact that there's a litterer. What you a loose okay? inside the courthouse. What? Are you okay? Nah, of course not, man. It's simply unforgivable. Ack! It's not like it was a I who littered. Rubbish belongs in the rubbish bin. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Did we add this to our organizing? No, we no, added it to our logic. logic. All right, well, let's see. What do we got here? We got a oh, we got lobby number two window. Oh, I see, and a pink tr piece of trash. Pink piece of trash found on the window sill of the hallway window made of rubber. That's cool. I wonder if that's related at all. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter, Edgeworth? <laughs> I pranked myself on one of the, uh, the, the, this cactus's needles. I didn't think the needles on this thing would be so sharp. It's a cactus! Well, what did you expect? Can you imagine how bad it would be if you were hit on the head by one of these? Anyway, this cactus seems to be unrelated to our case. Do you really think so? Because I believe that this cactus sitting in the windowsill is completely related. Oh, okay. Window, <laughs> windowsill cactus, potted cactus sitting on the hallway windows, windowsill. Its needles are dangerous. I do like dangerous needles indeed. Oh, well, well then what I look forward to your explanation of how exactly it is related. We will never know. Never, I tell you! Look at the window. They wouldn't let me. The ants are hard at work, carrying their food home. I thought I saw something that wasn't the ants. It was uh, the wrapper. It's a no, up higher. That they can pick up such comparatively large objects to their size. Well, if you want to carry the mighty Von Kama name and not be squished under it, 
He was meant to be work extra hard, just like these ads. The same goes for you, Francisca. Yeah, you'd better be work. Huh. Interesting. I didn't even notice that at, at first. I was like, whoa, that's impossible, man. How could that be? See, there's nothing on the window. To nothing the right! Was... I wasn't talking about the glass. Well, dude, this isn't the window. This is the uh, this is outside. This is the you window the now. the window area. Nope. Nope, that's not true, man. That I wasn't talking true. about the window sill. I can look outside. However, I doubt the killer could have escaped through here. Of course not! This is the last all. Hmm. It appears that bars were installed on this to prevent people from falling out. Why would they be hanging out the window? Bars? What's bars? Can you not see them from your vantage point? Whip. No, I'm too short! <laughs> what? I must remember not to bring up that taboo subject again. What, her height? Apparently. Aw, oh, I thought the window itself would be something, but apparently not. So I guess we've officially inspected every suspicious looking different way. No, we haven't. Yeah, go down. I forgot about down. Well, if that's not suspicious, I don't know what is. And neither is a giant handprint. That too. It almost looks like the freaking... That, that looks like a warrior symbol from Tales of Symphony for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, uh, ants are pouring out... I mean, it out... looks kind of like a tough guy tattoo upside down. Of the... What? <laughs> tough guy tattoo is an accessory in Dragon Quest. It is increases it? your attack by 5%. Ants are pouring out of the hole in this bench as well. I wonder if the inside of this bench consists of nothing but ants. Or maybe was it five points? I don't remember. Don't you dare continue with that gross line of logic! Thought. Thought. Uh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Don't be sorry about things you're not actually sorry about. Yeah, I figured that'd be the same. Oh well. Anything on the floor? No, nothing on the floor. Alright, handprint first. Or whatever the heck this is. The dirt on this bench, it smells like some sort of sweet substance. I wonder what it could be. Well, now we know what it is. I can't believe there's someone going around dirtying the whorehouse for shade. The whorehouse? What? I did not say that. That's what it sounded like. Oh, please, don't let that be what it sounded like. <laughs> Somebody's going around dirtying the whorehouse. <laughs> Calm down, Francisca. <laughs> now take a good look. Doesn't this smudge look kind of like a handprint to you? I've seen at least one instance where you didn't hear it correctly anyway, so... So, I mean, you're right like 9 out of 10 times, but there's that What was that time. instance? I don't remember, but there it was like... I think it was episode 39, the one that we recorded last, that that you misheard me or something? I don't know. The, I don't know. I think it was when we were talking to Gumshoe, maybe. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that was when it was. Now take a good look. Doesn't this smudge look kind of like a handprint to you? I suppose it could be. Which means that perhaps we can lift the prints of the person who sold this bench. I see. Then and then we'll know the identity of our mystery slob. You there, the lab technician. Could you please find out who this handprint belongs to? Sir, yes, sir. But wait, 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 wait. What about the floor? I've got the results of the fingerprint analysis, sir. And? Do you know who they belong to? Sir, the fingerprints belong to Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> oh, interesting. Good work, officer. That's very interesting indeed. Detective Gumshoe's fingerprints state had just out of my organizer. We'll see you later, sir. And there you have it. Yes, I suppose so. Now we know the identity of the person who's at this bench. I sense that you and I will be using this information in very different ways. <laughs> Is that the truth? I wonder. Let's see, lots on the hallway bench. Black smudge emits the scent of sweet sugar. Let's go in the hallway. Yeah, that sugar, man. Sugar. You, you gotta let that sugar rock every now and then. Jeez. What is this? What? What? <laughs> what are these black speckles? I believe it's a pile of ants eating away. You gotta let that sugar rock. Does that let's, make sense? Let's rock. Oh! <laughs> that detective. He claims. Jeez. <coughs> claims that not a single ant slipped by him. And yet there is a whole hill of them. I mean, oh, they, who they, says they got by him? Yeah, I mean, they obviously didn't get by. They're just sitting there. Neck! 
What are you hitting me for? Has a replacement for that pathetic defective? <sighs> Dude, you're seven years older than her. Just take the freaking riding crop away. Perhaps I should add this deduction to the detective's growing tab of pay cuts. Anyway, I wonder what the ants are eating. From the look and sweet smell of it, pieces of cake and chocolate from a Swiss roll. Swiss roll crumbs found on the floor, under the bench, a hill of ants are attracted to a sweet scent. What is this stupid voice? My Clavier Gavin voice. <laughs> My what, is Gavin's in his head? What? Yeah, <laughs> yes, of Gav course. Gavin is his thoughts. Gavin is always his thoughts. Gavin is the narrator, man. Thank <laughs> God. The courthouse. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Why is that what? The courthouse has to be kept pristine at all times. <sighs> it wasn't me that dropped food on the ground. The courthouse. Must be. Kept clean. <sighs> Alright. Take it away from her. Oh jeez, alright, you know, let's see, let's go to this trash bin, no, never mind, let's not go to the trash bin, let's go to nothing now over here too. Alright, we'll talk to Bad then in that case. Detective Bad, I have something I wish to inquire about. That, 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 that. Hey! <laughs> Why did he look angry when he was putting it away? <laughs> I don't know. How about doing some actual work, you? I wish to inquire into Detective Dumshoe's movements during the recess. You're getting in the way of the investigation. I have an order from Ma Mr. Von Karma himself. Plus, I still hold investigative authority. In authority. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk to you in a minute then. In that the case. judge is the testimony that we have to get, so... Hmm... It would appear that the vending machine sells snacks and various other foods. Vending machine, oops. Really? They're gonna make you put logic together for the Swiss roll and the freaking ants? Well, it's because the Swiss roll wasn't logic. Just No, the, the, this and the ants. Oh, I don't know, I forget. How is just, that a line of logic that needs to be explored? I don't know, man. <laughs> Excuse me. What will they think of next? Don't be a jerk in courts like these beef jerks. One packet for nine dollars! Nine dollars?! The fennel fresh milk! One half pint for seven dollars! Stay neutral as the Swiss do, and to the end with these for six dollars! They're awfully overpriced! Nine dollars for beef jerk- Also, where is she reading this? Uh, on the vending machine. But we're looking at the vending machine right here, and there's no description like that. Beef jerky, nine dollars. Yeah, there was the whole. $8. There was like these pitch lines. Well, maybe she was making them up, or maybe she saw it somewhere it else. Quotes. Maybe that's on the wall across from the vending machine. You never know. It's not like we can see that wall. <laughs> it's also not like she's looking at the vending machine right now. The lineup is simply. They're both awful. just staring at each other with their eyes closed. Well, her eyes weren't closed a second ago. At least I don't think they were. <laughs> Speaking of snacks, I wonder if that Swiss will let the girls drop this from this machine. Hmm. I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. Hmm. Orange juice. When it's looking bad, blind your opposition with some OJ. Where are you reading this? <laughs> are, are they promoting violence? Don't worry. Wait, wait. <coughs> Excuse me. I wouldn't make sure that anybody who follows this device won't be for long. Compared to that sting of a whip, the sting of orange juice may not be so bad. To be honest, it's kind of hard to read that blue text on this background. Yeah, a little bit. When you're in hot water, you might need a hot dog. Dot 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 dot. Hmm. It looks like this slogan was decided through a public contest. What slogan? Where? And the winner was Prosecutor Winston Payne. Hmm. What a pathetic slogan! No present at all! Now if it was up to me, it would read... If you leave matters in a Von Karma's hands, everyone in the court will be found guilty dogs. What? Dot 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 dot. Objection! Overruled! <laughs> okay. Was that Edgeworth's objection? Yes. <laughs> I never read this, by the way. Uh, wait, was it the vending machine? Yeah, it was. 
Uh, vending, a vending machine that sells courthouse special goods as few sweet items are for sale. Okay. I'd also like to point out that we were talking the other day and you, I found out that you didn't get the pun in Winston Payne's name. Oh, yeah, I never, I never, yeah. I thought... Winced in pain? Yeah, I didn't... And what his, was... his, I think his cousin or his nephew or whoever it was in Dual Destinies is Gasp in Pain. Gasp in Pain. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I can actually equate that, but I didn't realize Winston Payne was apparently a pun in, in and of itself. I thought he was just bringing the pain. Like, I, I didn't realize... Like, oh, he's gonna make me wince, man. No, Ugh. he's a pushover, so he winced in pain. Oh. I thought he was making me wince in pain. No. <laughs> he is the rookie killer, man. Not Don't... anymore. <laughs> Apparently he still is. He just never lost his title for whatever reason. Don't be a jerk in court like these beef jerks. I see. Where is Edgeworth? Wouldn't you agree that it's a very clever pun? Do you really think they put that much effort into the product name? Even the foolish fool could understand what the foolish thing here of the fool who made it up. What? You're acting so foolishly that, that I got so thoroughly mad and I am now utterly famished. Give me ten dollars for some beef jerky. If you wanted a pack of these, all you had to do was ask like a normal person. Ten dollars? He's a prosecutor. He's probably making like a million bucks a year or something like that. He's not a prosecutor yet. Yeah, he is. He just hasn't made his debut yet. So he's not making any money from it! Well, maybe he already is. Maybe he's making money off the job for just... You're an idiot. ...sitting around doing things, you know? He's gonna be a... Or maybe he just realizes his salary's gonna be a $5 million a year, so he's just like, I don't care. <laughs> I'll get you beef jerky if you want it. <laughs> Defendant's fresh milk. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I bet it means that the milk is freshly milked by the various defendants what? on trial right now. I... <laughs> you know... I, I forgot to mention though, I like how they both objectioned each other. Once for the hot dogs and once for the freaking beef jerky. No, I think it might mean that this was milked right from the various defendants. What? Is somebody going around milking people? <laughs> My sense was, you can't really, possibly be really, serious. Like, that is just wrong for both genders. Of course not. Oh jeez, yeah, I, I'll say it. God. Anyway. No, 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 nothing over here. I mean, geez, I'm like, I'm look at the money. Credit symbols. card accepted, really? <laughs> who puts a credit card in a vent wall? Who has ten dollar food objects in a freaking vending machine? Not to mention the odd numbers too. It's like it's not even five bucks or one dollar. It's it's like it's not even ten dollars. It's nine. So you have to like do five and then like four ones or something like that. Well, I guess you can get change back. I don't know if this one does that or not though. Get change. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Swiss rolls are the cheapest ones, and it's probably the best object in here too. Actually, no, that's not a that's not a change machine. That's like probably a a milk or juice dispenser. Beef jerky <laughs> is probably the best thing here. I don't know. I love beef jerky. Yeah, beef I jerky like Swiss good. rolls, but I love beef jerky. Don't let the prosecution and defense make a ham sandwich out of you. What? It sounds like it's directed to the ham of the judge. At the ham of the judge, whatever. At well, the ham of the judge. Well, it certainly isn't directed it's directed at, me. at the judge's pig? <laughs> I can out... Well, I was saying the ham was coming from the judge, not he had a pig, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, he is a big guy, so, I mean, you know, you know, man. Well, it certainly not isn't directed... It, it isn't directed to me. I can outmaneuver him any day. I mean, how... He's, you know, he's not necessarily that big. You only ever see him behind the freaking stand and he's always got that giant robe on okay you can see him right now he's big he's not that big in fact he Satan. looks he's at least shorter than edgeworth say no true as a swiss duo until the end of what he said the end of what what <laughs> well i assume it means at the end of the trial i suppose this means that one should eat these during a recess you can't eat during a trial so i suppose the only time you can eat them is now huh i wouldn't mind if you wanted to eat one now they come in packs of two, after all. Hmm. We're in the middle of an investigation. Besides, I don't have six dollars on me. If you want, we can pool our money and buy a pack together. I'm really interested in what the Japanese picture of this would be. Mm, probably a yen symbol or something? I don't know. I meant the food items. If I have to split it... If I have to split it with you, then I don't want it. 
What was the first thing again? I, I, I definitely read that wrong. Stay neutralized with Swiss Duo until the end with these. The end of what? Okay, I see. That makes a little bit because more sense. Because Switzerland now. is neutral. I know that. I'm not. I, I've watched. I watched. Wait, actually, what did I watch? I don't know, man. I, I did, I'm familiar, is all, I guess, what, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, look at him. Look at how freaking bulky he is. He's. He's not necessarily bulky. Like, from this angle and from that angle, like, that's got. That, he's got some major bulk on him, man. Whether you like it or not. Alright, Judge, what's up, man? Shouldn't you talk to him last because <laughs> you're here to get his testimony? Well, no, because Bad had some testimony too. Yeah, I know, but it, it, getting his testimony was a major point to the start of this investigation. Fine, how about I do this then? I'll save. I'll save right now, and then at the end, if for some reason this advances the story, which it shouldn't, because I'm pretty sure we're going to at least have to do logic first. Because I wasn't this. saying it implying that it was going to advance the story. I was saying it in line of actually doing the thing that you came here to do. Your Honor, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Where were you at the time of the murder? I... 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 Do you suspect me of something? No, nothing of the sort, Your Honor. Ahem. Very well. You may continue with your testimony. What? <laughs> your Honor, it's your testimony I'm after. Oh! I had no idea you were chasing after me or my testimony. I'm beginning to sense that I might want to avoid being in a trial run by this judge. Good luck with that. He's the only... For he, him and the other guy are the only two Him and his brother are the only judges that exist, apparently. Yeah, yeah in this freaking country. Today's trial may have ended abruptly, but we will meet again. Ho, ho, ho. Don't do I'm it. I'm going to say it. Merry Christmas, everyone. I you. I'm looking forward to that day, Mr. Edward. I knew you were going to say don't say it, so I'm just like, I'm going to say it. When I become a prosecutor, you might even see me in your courtroom a few times. I hope you'll chase me with even the greater respect and now. I, I only ask that you please do not bring a whip into my courtroom. God, he looks weird. Hmm. I'm afraid that issue is not up for negotiation. As long as the whip can't reach his seat, I'm sure his honor will be safe. I think. Yeah, I don't know if it can reach or not, but he won't be safe, that's for sure. Your Honor, I'd like you to take for you to please take a look at this piece of evidence. Very well. The courts will accept this into evidence. No, wait. That's not what I showed it to you for. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, if I may, I suggest you bone up on court procedure a bit more. Bone up? What? Move on. I, 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 I don't get it. When evidence, when the evidence, nope. ev when evidence is shown before me, it goes into evidence. That is the law of the court. Your Honor, I'm sorry to say this. However, that rule does not apply to the outside world. Hmm. Come to think of it, I suppose court is not in session right now. He really lives in some kind of fantasy world, doesn't he? <laughs> Wait until you see his uh, equivalent in the crossover with Professor Layton. He's a freaking moron. Being passionate about one's work is one thing, but to confuse it with real life... It's amazing, isn't it, now? Show Your him honor. the gun. If what? he doesn't freak out by the gun, then they screwed up. Yeah, I would have to hope he would freak out about that at the very least. Will he or will he not? Aww, Capcom, man. you failed me. Well, well, wait, like, what was he supposed to do? Just freak out in general, or was he supposed to make yeah, some like, kind of weird comment like, about it? Don't point that at me. Ah, don't point that at me. I didn't ask for this. Put that away at once, or I will call the cops on you. That just sounded all kinds of wrong out of context. Why did that sound wrong? I need to know this at once. Shut up. I, I really don't get it, actually. Hey, Your Honor, would you like a pen so you can write down who's guilty and who isn't guilty? Now, these talkie games aren't really good for Let's Plays. Why not? 
Because you don't really... There's so much dialogue that you don't really get any of your own words in. You're pretty much just reading the whole time. Well, yeah, that's why I tried to do it in between lines. Like, hey, you know that thing that happened? No. Oh, well, that happened, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you'll get like five in between lines per episode. Yeah, so it's like, hey, remember that? That's what happened. Hey, hey, remember, I'm still here. You're not just here for the game. Oh, it's a courthouse special sweet roll. It has such Swiss a nice... Roll, this isn't Skyrim. What? Swiss roll, this isn't Skyrim. What you said sweet say? roll. What? You said sweet roll. I did? Yes. Are you sure it didn't say sweet roll? Yeah, it said Swiss roll. It has such a nice fluffy texture. And just the right amount of sweetness to it. <laughs> and it's made from all natural ingredients. So like of course sugar? it's e what? Like sugar? So of course it's easy to digest as well. Hmm. I see. Actually, they decided only recently to sell these rolls as the courthouse special. Of course. I've been sending in my special request all along. Why don't you try sending in a request once in a while? I suppose I'll just have to think of a good suggestion by the next time I come here. If you say so, Edward. Detective Gumshoe's fingerprints. What would he say about that? Your Honor, I just I don't know things. What do you say about Detective Gumshoe's fingerprints? Yeah. Oh, those were fingerprints. I always knew that scruffy-looking detective was guilty. Maybe That's something the... about. Oh, he didn't uh... say Swiss roll. Oh, Maybe whatever. something about how dare he dirty my courtroom or something. Maybe. Time of the murder. Ouch. Let's see here. Now then, how should I put this? When you get to be my age, you need to pay more frequent visits to the restroom. Hmm. He looked so sad when he said that. <laughs> well, I'm sure it is a sad thing, after all. If you go take a look through the window... I, look, I, I thought it said if you take it through the window, like he was peeing out the window or something. <laughs> I looked break. away and then looked back and glanced at the text. <laughs> At the small end of this hall, you'll see a small window. That is the window to the men's restroom. Oh, I see. In other words, you can see the clearly you can see clearly into this hallway from the men's restroom. Clearly now the rain is gone. Dot 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 it was raining? What? <sighs> My god. Well, I mean, it was thunderstorming yesterday, two days ago, when we were recording before, Prados, so... <laughs> understand references, please. I don't know the reference you're trying to make, man. When I've I was going... I've never heard that song. What song? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Oh, that song. Yes, I've heard that one, actually. My well, god. When I was going into the restroom, that Detective Gumshoe, is it? While he was standing in front of the vending... Machines buying something from it. Why would you be able to see directly into the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Isn't that like an invasion of privacy or some crap? How? Yeah, probably. However, <clears throat> excuse me. However, and this is I couldn't believe. <laughs> Never what? mind. Close enough. When I was about to exit the restroom, there was not a soul in the hallway anymore. Probably because so, he was sitting on the bench eating his Swiss roll. So were they all soulless creatures then in that case, or did they he just simply up. not exist? I wonder. Your Honor, if you could please calm down and explain it to me rationally. Oh, I'm really sorry. Please let me regain my composure. It was really suspicious. That's what my finely honed judge's intuition said. I wonder well, if me eating these goldfish is going to get picked up on the mic, because I've been doing it the whole episode. I haven't particularly noticed, anyway. Although, well, until the murders occurred, I just sort of brushed it off. Ho ho ho! Shut Did up. Did you know it was Christmas? Merry Christmas, everyone! Apparently this judge doesn't understand the concept of Christmas in July. I hate you. Staying calm. Hmm. The restroom window, huh? 
I wonder if you can really see the men's bathroom window from that one there. You can. I'm looking at it right now. You short freaking. I demand that you show me this view at once. Just stand on the freaking bench or something with the ants. My goodness. I suspect that her height is what's limiting her ability to see. She doesn't look that short. She is like. I don't know. She's short enough anyway. She's like a head shorter than him. And that's significant. Well, I mean, when you consider her. Well, yeah. Wait, never mind. What am I talking about? I was gonna say, when you consider her eye level, she's more than a head shorter, but that, that wouldn't make any sense, actually, so never mind. That's <laughs> probably all I'm going Unless you're claiming Edgeworth has like a seven head instead of a five head. Yeah, because Edgeworth has eyes on the, literally the top of his head, so that, that makes sense. That's probably all I'm going to find out from his honor. Mr. Edgeworth, may I return to my other duties now? Yes, I'm sorry to have held you up. Thank you for your cooperation, Your Honor. I like how he bows and he doesn't do, like, the hand twirl thing like he does later on. Ho, ho, ho. I know Don't I've already said it. this, but Merry Don't Christmas, do Edgeworth. It. Also, any time, Mr. Edgeworth, any time. The judges in this country seem better friendly. This, yes. It is, if not, a little wishy-washy. What? However, I hear that they are known to hand down very fair verdicts. I don't know about that, actually. I don't Go know back that's... to the window? I don't know if that's very true, anyway. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'll, I guess... I don't know. I'll do that in the next exciting episode, anyway. I mean, I can Depending see on I... the angle, it's still. it looks like she might be able to see up it. No. She threw it? No. I mean, she's standing at the bottom of the screen, so that's not very valid. I really don't think she can. Yeah, if she stood on her tiptoes, she'd be able to see out of it just fine. Well, I was just saying, if she stood on the bench, she'd be able to see it, but, I mean... Nope. It's not possible. It just... Did I talk to this guy? Yeah, I did. I forgot. Oh, well. And the oh, yeah, I tried video. to examine the... I tried to... Oh, I examined that too. Okay, I got it. But anyway, though, everyone. Now that we know... Everything. We're going to talk to Francisca, and we're going to talk to Detective Bat in the next exciting episode, everyone, so look forward to it. Look forward to it. See you later!